I seldom get my nails done, but when I do, I make it a point to show my nails all the time. <laughs> yes. It is almost Chinese New Year and I went to go get my nails done today because hell, why not? I've had a really crazy month and I just wanted to do something nice for myself. Um, I got my nails done at this place in Somerset, which I'll link it below, but she did a really good job. She was Vietnamese, uh, married to a Singaporean guy and very kind and we had like a long talk about what it was like for her to come to Singapore, what it was like for me to come here. Uh, my parents being in Taiwan, my sister being in San Francisco, and she's just really kind. And she had like the craziest like eyelashes ever. Like um, she had the extension eyelashes and they looked really good. It almost made me want to get them as well, but I just opted for my nails. So yeah, I mean, she did a really good job if you can see. I just want to keep showing you, but um, I never get my nails done and I got them done today and I feel Really good. This is the way to do it. Mm -hmm. Happy Lunar New Year, everyone. For last year, I was at Chingy Parade, and now this year I'm going to my friend's place to make dumplings. However, it's really hard to catch a bus right now. The next one is coming in 24 minutes. So I'm kind of stranded. I don't even know where I am, to be honest, but waiting for a bus and then I'm gonna go bao jiaozi. I'm very excited and I'm actually really hungry. <laughs> Lunar New Year has always been a big thing in our family. My family is from Taiwan, so what we would normally do is eat huo guo, which is hot pot, or we would just do like a family potluck. And then my mom would make like zenzu wan and we'd drink boba and just make all this great food, like tou yong bing, just random stuff, like a hodgepodge of food. Whereas here, I think they do yu shen, which is like the prosperity toss, and they have like their own traditions here in Singapore. Whereas in Taiwan, it was more of similar traditions where we eat food together, get hongbao, like red envelopes. And one interesting thing that I didn't know in Singapore is that if you're not married and you're like 30 and you just get older and older and you're not married, you still continue to receive red envelopes. Like how nice is that, you know? I guess I would get a lot, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to say hi? <laughs> That's Mark. He owns this place. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> we also decided to wrap dumplings. Inside you have pork, chives, ginger, mushrooms, and garlic, as well as soy sauce, and sesame oil, and pepper, and salt. It looks like a gyoza platter. Mark decided to make beef and broccoli as well as the famous Panda Express orange chicken. And then of course our dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the Chinese song? Dun, yeah. dun, dun, dun. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Wow! That's so cool. Jen, you're missing it. <laughs> Wait, I need to get this vinegar. <laughs> this vinegar, I know. Oh, shit! <laughs> it ruins my, my video aesthetic now. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay, nice. Here, thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Getting ready before I head out to the zoo. It's interesting because I feel like I get more sympathy around me being alone for Chinese New Year rather than me being alone for Christmas. And I honestly think that it's because people here view Chinese New Year as a more important holiday for them to spend with family and friends, whereas for me, like Christmas and Thanksgiving. These were the times that I actually got to see my family and um, like eat with them and see them in Taiwan. And I think that just had more meaning to it when I was away from them. So 
Yeah, it's really interesting. I think a lot of people just feel really bad because I'm by myself for Chinese New Year, but I mean, to me it's like any other holiday, kind of like Valentine's Day. <laughs> I love the holiday though, don't get me wrong. I think it's great. I think it's just, I don't feel as sad being alone for Chinese New Year than being alone for like Christmas and Thanksgiving. Holy shit. I'm literally just like sweating like a pig right now. It is so hot. <laughs> We're going to the zoo today, so I'm walking to Lavender MRT so I can take a grab with the rest of my friends. And we'll just carpool over there because saving the environment is cool. So here I am, just sweating all my makeup off. <laughs> this one is a well fed. He's a happy boy. It's a warthog. Yeah, oh, it's, a, oh. yeah it's, it's the equivalent of a warthog out here. Sorry, I'm gonna zoom in because I cannot see. <laughs> All tigers are Asian. So this duo, they are siblings called Pasha and Kesa, who came from Indonesia's Maharini Zoo. So we found out that white tigers are actually not albinos. They have the white coat because of a mutated gene. Regardless, they are probably one of the most beautiful creatures I've ever seen in my entire life. Thinking about it. <laughs> Did you know pygmy hippos don't have sweat glands? You learn something new every day. Notice how they have these big spiky pokey things? <laughs> oh. Do not come closer, Casa Oh, I did not know that. There's a squirrel in the background. I bet this Casa can kill that squirrel. Because notice when it was pooping, it was like solid because it eats meat. Casa is predatory. You can see on the glass, right? It's a lot of scratches. Yeah, it's an animal. Oh, Whoa, look at that one. That one's like the, the king. You see him? He's like getting a pear pick. Oh, look at the baby. Oh. <laughs> so we literally thought this baboon had cancer on its butt but there was a sign saying that it's probably just a female who is ready to mate. So their buttocks actually swell up like this, and a lot of visitors will point this out. And rest assured, this is something that's very natural, and it's not butt cancer. Unlike monkeys, orangutans actually don't have any tails. In 1895, there were fewer than 100 white rhinos in the wild. Now, because of rescue efforts, there are more than 20,000 white rhinos that live in park reserves and zoos. Okay, the giraffe exhibition was probably my favorite. I don't know why. They are just such tall, godly, majestic creatures, and I'm in love with just how gentle they are. Just hanging out. Oh. Oh, hello. Wow, you're beautiful. Look, he's saying he's hi. So cute. He's so cute. He's so hi. Funny. Good morning. Yeah, I wonder how old this tortoise is. 5,000 years old. Right. Oh, that would be nice. Hey, right here. Time for some new shoes. Oh, I have to get a shabby in there. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is my friend Justin. Hi. Hi, Justin. Hi, everyone. <laughs> we're in the Nas for Good or Nas and Grab for Good program together, and we're helping each other film. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, he's super tall. <laughs> Do you want to know like how they can reach you or if they can find you anywhere? Find me at Jack Low XT on Instagram. See you guys. <laughs> okay, rolling. Okay. Mark Benny. <laughs> Video of a video. <laughs> Jackson's professional camera while I'm using my iPhone. <laughs> he taught me. So this is the record button. Wait, yeah, record button is on if it's red and then turn off when you want it to stop recording. One day, when I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will get a nice camera like you. <laughs> so as part of the NAS and Grab for Good program, my friend and I, Jackson, were creating videos today and it's actually really hard. Being a content creator is not easy. We just spent the entire afternoon refilming our speaking shots and b-roll. So just wow, like I have so much respect for content creators who do this full time. disgusting by the way do not eat this this avocado dip makes me want to throw up this hummus though is bomb it's amazing but the avocado ugh. this is a tea that i actually made it's korean tea i actually bought corn tea from the korean market ah, dang it and what you do is you just put some I put it in a, a jar with a little bit of hot water and then you just soak it overnight and then you have your homemade brew tea. Oh my gosh, I just, and you just like screw the lid on. So this is a reusable jar. I'm so happy. Mmm, that's good. So yeah, this is basically what you do. You just put a bag in water and then you just throw it in there and let it soak overnight. <laughs> 